Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everybody, and uh, welcome to this uh, unique session, which was started uh, about five, six years ago by Dr. Lalit and Dr. Rohit, and that is uh, International Ophthalmic Heroes of India. Now, what is very, very uh, important, or I think what is uh, happening over the last few years is a step in the right direction, where Indian ophthalmology is getting the due place in the international arena. And that is a constant endeavor that we need to keep on doing. Uh, and we need to come out with path breaking research, uh, whether it be on hypothesis, uh, like uh, we have certain institutions doing that, whether it be on clinical applications, whether it be on phase one, two, three, four trials. But these things have to be done. But the most important thing is that they need to be published. So there has been a lot of emphasis over the last years on research methodology and on publishing. I think another important thing that has happened is the IGO coming of age, where the turnaround time has come down as we have in international journals, as also the number of submissions that we are getting and the reviewers doing a great job, they have increased. So Indian uh, ophthalmologists are now happy to have uh, one other portal where they can publish uh, their research. And then we are getting great citation uh, index for Indian Journal of Ophthalmology and the publication. Now, this unique program has the ability to showcase the talent of these young ophthalmologists, uh, or I would say ophthalmologists who are doing path breaking work and are bringing in uh, new concepts for the betterment of ophthalmology. It is our endeavor to honor these uh, great uh, individuals who have done yeoman service and they need all the encouragement that is possible, uh, whether uh, from uh, a society level or from uh, uh, a level of funding, et cetera, or teaching them how to patent their products and things like that. So all these programs that are there, which is promoting science, the science of ophthalmology are a step in the right direction. Uh, I think, uh, the program which Partha started uh, as uh, ARC, which is thinking under the apple tree is something which is again uh, fantastic. And I think, uh, uh, I don't know how many of you yesterday, uh, if you heard Mukesh Ambani's speech, uh, Make in India is something that the president is talking about and the great industrialists are also talking about uh, Make in India. So I would say uh, we have the heroes within uh, the All India Ophthalmological Society and we have to give them the proper, as they say, protsahan. Uh, so they need to be actually encouraged and encouraged and they need to do better and put India on the global map fairly and squarely and we need to have our position in the sun as Indian ophthalmologists. So I would wish to congratulate all the recipients uh, of uh, the honors today who have done this great service and are being recognized as a small token of our appreciation from uh, AIOS for the great work that they have done. So kudos to the ophthalmologist for this pioneering work and we hope that they keep on doing and bringing in cutting edge research and new clinical applications in ophthalmology. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And uh, very nice words you said, sir, like always. Uh, as a president, you know, make in India and try to promote whatever is Indian as much as possible because the turnaround time for whatever you do in India is much, much, much faster than whatever you can achieve anywhere else, even with the best collaboration. So, sir, can we start? Dr. Partha, sir? You're muted, sir. Uh, Partha, yes. you are muted, yeah. Namrata, ma'am, would you like to say anything? I think uh, Dr. Mahipal sir has uh, already said this, this program, which was initially the brainchild of uh, Dr. Rohit Shetty, as well as Dr. Lalit Verma sir. He was the one, in fact, both of them brought it first into the AIOS platform is something to be really proud of. And uh, I think all these uh, international heroes are a pride of Indian ophthalmology uh, who are being recognized here. And I think it should be the other way around also. We should get some international heroes as well and have probably a con session which is combined not only with Indian heroes, but also with some international participation or collaboration. And that could be a you know, step further, uh, especially the panelists. Uh, we mean may not be Indian. If you get international panelists also, 
then you know they would know what our indian ophthalmic uh, fraternity is doing so it is all the way make in india innovate in india show internationally and then uh, be you know uh, uh, be felicitated in india as well for that it's a great concept and congratulations to uh, dr lalit verma sir dr rohit chetty and dr partha biswas for continuing the same and uh, wonderful uh, we are looking forward to all the presentations here today dr maipal sir dr lalit verma sir and madam uh, dr partha sir has given a very uh, big gift this has been seen by the families of all the winners across the world and uh, because we wanted uh, this is something which uh, we always felt that last year you were there and you could see the joy when the parents come on stage and because the efforts to a lot of them are youngsters here 80% of them the efforts to make them to reach at this stage i think the credit goes entirely to the families who stood with them and uh, thanks to partha sir and namrata ma'am that live is uh, beam to all of them and we have many people logging in from different countries also so it's a very good gesture thank you sir for this thank you ma'am uh, ashok can we start the first person first award yes. uh, i have the initial uh, some slides which i we have already it. spoken about it ashok let's not Two waste slides time. okay i just let's one to one movie corporate and this movie is there sir the heroes movie is there i'll play that okay slides is not moving yes i think the slides is visible sir yeah it's visible but it's not moving he is not given the control i think uh can somebody give him the control you already have the control yeah now it's going now it's going yeah initially it was not there just keep more keep okay. this moving fast keep... ashok let's okay. we already sir has already spoken about it yes sound is there no no one second one minute
वन मोर स्मॉल वीडियो कॉर्पोरेट वीडियो सर Okay, we go to the first uh, awardee. Okay, I'll just this was our award yes, photographs yeah, of the years. Videos. Yes, we showed them. Ah, so we start with the award is the first award. It's my so, great uh, pleasure uh, to introduce the first awardee, Dr. Anju Kuriyakos. She received the award for a paper. and uh, from apios uh, imaging uh, uh, sense imaging uh, symposium dr anju are you here can you yes sir yes sir so your family very proud so can you tell us what this paper was in just a uh, minute quickly uh, uh, it was my thesis uh, about the uh, 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 on optical coherence tomography to detect about the preclinical retinal changes in patients with uh, mild cognitive impairment we have previous papers about uh, uh, alzheimers uh, disease uh, but then there is no paper studies about mild cognitive impairment for, where which will progress to which can progress to alzheimers disease in in future so if we can detect those uh, patients uh, preclinical in the preclinical stage with the ganglion cell layer thinning uh, it it can be used as a futuristic thing uh, to detect the alzheimers progression in future fantastic Con congratulations uh, dr anju all the best thank you sir. and uh, we will we'll probably see you in a physical format taking this award with the uh, the ai was team thank you god bless thank you so much sir thank you sir. rohit uh, one thing uh, one small comment anju and just next to john was there and uh, what's your kid's name anju uh, this is my dot megan okay so it's, so it's a family of people who are going to be heroes of tomorrow so even the kid i'm sure is imbibing all the wonderful things from the parents and that's a genetic legacy that you are going to give your kid congratulations thank you so much so for your words sir thank you so much thank you ashok next one ashok controls he has uh, he has to give me the controls sir oh so i think he is given you the control can i can i share my screen can i share the screen Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. You, you can off this, or let me see if it's that easy. Please unshare yours. Yeah. Let me see if I can. Because share. when somebody has to come to the spotlight again, he takes the control. That's the thing. No, no. I'll just see because we'll avoid that thing. And uh, I think I have the control. Yes. Uh. So can I do the honor? She's my yeah. student. So. Sure, 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 sure. My honor too, because uh, Anne is a very, very. Uh, good fellow of mine and uh, multitask the personality a great animal lover and uh, also always fights for animal rights and uh, learned a lot of things her father was my teacher i'm sure he's watching and is he watching yes uh, yes sir he's he's on the Dr. Reggie, he's watching Dr. as well says, uh, was a, he was the head of the department of ophthalmology st john's medical college a brilliant surgeon and uh, she is making him really proud namrata ma'am would you like to ask and something i just wanted to introduce her <laughs> no, i think uh, this is a great work in uh, especially uh, 
refractive and cross-linking uh, uh, surgeries and uh, uh, I'm sure uh, this is just the beginning and uh, uh, she's going to go, I mean, sky is the limit. So if it's at this age and this stage you are here, uh, I don't know what you'll do when you'll be at our stage, but all the best and many congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the honor. Sir, would you like to say, ask anything to her or Anne. dad? If it's yeah. dad, is it? <laughs> so, Anne? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, is your dad watching as well? Yes, he is. <laughs> okay. Congratulations, sir. And uh, congratulations to the entire family for Anne's achievement. Thank you. And this is her second award uh, she won last year also. Last year. Oh. Fantastic. So I think, you know, the claps can go around. Let us unmute ourselves and the claps can go around. Thank you, sir, for the opportunity. It wouldn't have been possible without a mentor like Dr. Rohit, both last year and this year. He pushes his fellows and brings out the best in all of us. So I think a lot of credit to him and, of course, to our families for backing us through the entire fellowship and after that as well. So big credit and to Microvision and all of you all for giving us this honor. Thank you. Thank you. And happy married life. She just got married a few weeks back. Oh, yes. Thank you. All right. uh, we, Dr. Deep, sorry, sorry, uh, Dr. Martha, you can <laughs> Yeah. Deepti is a very special person for me also. And when I was in Hubli, she took care of me and uh, Srinivas and Deepti and the whole family is, are wonderful people and ophthalmology flows in their veins. So the best video award at the World Society of Pediatric Ophthalmology and Strabismus for the video title, Strabismus, po uh, Strabismus Post-Steral Buckle, Owners and We Neighbors Pride. Now just look at that, Strabismus Post-Steral Buckle. And that means all the Strabismus was caused by none other than Srinivas Joshi. And he took away the video award because of his complications. Is that right, Deepti? He is responsible in, maybe directly and indirectly. Sir, this award I have been seeing in my home for past five years. Shinvas has been bringing this award home for past five years. And today when I'm here, I'm proud that he is responsible for this award. He's helped me in every way for this award, actually. Uh, I would also like to thank Krishna Prasad sir also for this award. Without his guidance, I wouldn't have done anything uh, to this extent. Thank you, Partha sir, for such a nice introduction. Thank you, Rohit sir. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. So did we clap for Deepti? Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. We have Dr. Devyani Gade, the best uh, video uh, producer category in uh, the American Society of Cataract Refractive Surgeons. Dr. Devyani, are you here? I think she's not there, so we'll wait for her. If she joins, uh, please uh, let us know that we'll bring this again. Am I audible? Oh, yeah, yes. Please, please. Yeah, so I'm here. <laughs> I wasn't it, audible, uh, I think, before. Let us know something about your video. What was your video about? If we quickly, in a minute. Uh, so, us... uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, my video uh, was regarding the use of these conditions. And uh, uh, there were short snippets of uh, video recordings of all various conditions where Infusion really helped me. Uh, in diagnosing and uh, reaching a conclusion with these patients. And it was uh, generally a road to a humble stain. Uh, there is some... Uh, I think department. there's a connectivity issue. Yeah, I think we'll come back to you a little later because we can't... Uh, I think there's some connectivity issue. But we'll 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 come back to it. Are you able to hear me? Hello. Yeah, yeah. So can you just uh, quickly tell us because there's a lot of connectivity issue in your line. Oh, 
Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, so basically, this was a fluorescein uh, staining related uh, uh, video. It was an ode to my uh, appreciation of fluorescein as a stain that I have used for various ocular surface conditions. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, I have uh, Dr. Divya Trivedi. Uh, she won the best uh, poster award at the winter ESCRS meeting uh, for novel collagen imaging using ultra resolution uh, OCT in healthy and suspect keratoconus eyes. And this was the first uh, paper on this subject in the world. And uh, because ESCRS winter had only posters, uh, she had to send it as a poster, not as a paper. Uh, Dr. Divya, are you here? Yes, sir. Namrata, ma'am, anybody wants to ask her a question? Your parents are watching you? Sir, unfortunately, they're on a flight right now, so they couldn't make it. <laughs> Perfect. So, Divya, uh, I think a, a very important topic and very relevant topic in the era of today, uh, where, you know, you've done work on the collagen imaging using uh, uh, ultra-high resolution polarization sensitive OCT, and I think you can do it because you have the facility to do it. Otherwise, you know, and I think very useful insights that you all have come out with in this study that you've done. So great, keep it up and congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, sir. It was... It's not moving. Yeah, it's moving. Dr. Partha, would you like to introduce uh, Dr. Gunji? So, I, can I introduce Yes, ma'am, please. She's my thesis yes. candidate, and I'm really, really proud of her. Uh, third position in free talks, abstract submission, and second position in teams competition in Egyptian Association of Pediatric Ophthalmology and Strabismus. And there are many more awards which she's received after that, which have not been listed here. And I'm really proud of her. Uh, she's done a wonderful thesis. Uh, Again, uh, we've got three publications out of that, and it was, you know, on intrastromal injections, uh, especially the intrastromal netosol, which we have patented, and um, Gunjan has done a great work. And uh, uh, Gunjan, uh, I, of course, I was a little taken aback because she took oculoplasty and not cornea, but then that's fine. But uh, fantastic, Gunjan. Even in oculoplasty, she's really doing very well. So congratulations, Gunjan. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for that kind introduction. And thank you for, you have always been my inspiration since my, since whenever I joined post-graduation and since when I met you for the first time, your dynamic personality have al has always inspired me to do better and better and to be like you one day. You have been really a great source of encouragement always. Thank you. Thank you, Gunjan. You'll, you'll be better than me. You don't worry. I'm not that. I'm not that. You, you, you can do one thing to make Madam proud. You can be, you know, if you win three times in a row, you become, uh, I think you can, you get a diamond or platinum award. This is your first win or second? Oh, it's my second win last year also. So next year, if you win, you'll be a, will be on a platinum or gold diamond or one of those awards. So we'll be very happy uh, to uh, give you that in physical format. All the best. God bless you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Sir. you anybody watching from your family? Uh, no, sir. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. We are there. We are there, Gunjan. Don't worry. We are, <laughs> no, we are there. there. I'm watching from Gunjan's family. <laughs> yes, <laughs> ma'am is there. Dr. Partha, do you like to introduce Dr. Jaspreet Sukija? Yes, Dr. Jaspreet Sukija. Dr. Jaspreet has so many presentations throughout AIOS. So he is such a known face and he's received the award on the Art of Capture at the World Conference of the World Society of Pediatric Ophthalmology and Strabismus. Jaspreet, are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Jaspreet, uh, uh, you know, uh, off the routine questions. What or who made you aspire to the position that you are? Which person, the first name? I know so many of them are there. Yes. Who was the so, the, so my mentor and uh, my encouragement and the person I have looked uh, and I look upon and look, look forward to and I've learned all this art. This art, what I've learned is Professor Jagatram. 
I think we need to clap both for Sir, who has been a mentor, and yes. for you. Just absolutely. Please. I mean, he's guided the Eye Center, and he's guided us, and he's guided me as a becoming a you can say a prolific pediatric cataract surgeon, and he's taught me to think and uh, work towards these little children who otherwise uh, are just roaming about here and there, and not many people are doing this. So definitely, I give I have my I give my, you can say, my sincerest thanks uh, to him and for all this, uh, what he's done and for all the awards, what I've got. Thank you. I think all of us are grateful to your teacher, our teacher, though it's been a distant learning for so many of us, but uh, Professor Jagat Ram has been a teacher for so many of us. Absolutely. No Congratulations. Please. Please. Dr. Jayant Kumar Das. The winner, winner of the video competition at uh, the World Congress of Ocular Trauma in December 2019 for a trans, trans, trans orbital foreign body into paranasal sinus. Dr. Sir Jain Das. Yeah. Am I audible, sir? Absolutely, sir. Okay. Would you like to say anything about this video in the just in, in the just summary of this video in a minute, please? In this video, generally, I want to highlight what are the techniques for a old or wooden foreign body, which is a very, very difficult for the surgeons. And there's a lot of, it may be broken during the removal. I just introduced one new technique, how to avoid the, we can, we can remove intact and all other debris, how we remove by some specially designed gauze piece, we can introduce, we can remove it and with the help of endoscope at the end we can. So most of the foreign bodies may be beyond the orbit. It may be go, go into the sinuses. For a poor category, it will be very difficult to send one person to, to other surgeon. So in, in as an ophthalmologist also, we can treat most of the time. So we want to highlight, I want, I, I just uh, highlighted on those parts in my video and it got awarded in, in Full of trauma complex. Trauma complex. Yes. Hello. Hello. Am I audible? Sorry to interrupt, Dr. Rohit. Uh, please unmute. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you, Dr. Jayant Kumar Das. And uh, your anybody from your family is watching you? Yeah, I think yeah, Kasturi is there. Kasturi yeah. is there from yeah. his okay. family my, my <laughs> also. Fantastic. Congrats okay. to all of them. Congrats Thank you, sir. You, it's a really big honor and he is a real good surgeon. And this technique is really amazing technique that he has been doing to take out the foreign bodies. So really happy that he received this award. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. And Namrata, ma'am, would you like to introduce? All of us can introduce you. <laughs> no, it is I my uh, it is my privilege actually to uh, introduce uh, Dr. Kasturi Bhattacharji, uh, honored uh, for post nominal FRCS Glasgow in ophthalmology, and I think that she's written is it, it's too less for her. Because I think throughout the year, we have seen that, uh, is there any month, Dr. Kasturi, when you don't get an award? I don't think so. Every month, Dr. Kasturi gets an award. And she's a role model for so many uh, ophthalmologists all around the country. Wonderfully, uh, you know, wonderful setup at, um, uh, in Guwahati they have. And so many uh, good ophthalmologists are churned out year after year. And in all the fields, whether it is clinical or surgical or medical education, I think doing a wonderful job. Congratulations, Kasturi. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much, all of you, and especially Dr. Namrata for the kind words. And you are such a great uh, inspiration for all the women out here. I should congratulate you. And thank you, AIOS, and thank you, Dr. Partha, Dr. Rohit, and the Microvision for this wonderful honor. Thank you, ma'am. Sir is watching. He's Your daughter, busy sir. He's busy <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Congrats. And uh, we'll see you next year in a physical format. Thank you so much. Thank you. Dr. Partha, sir. Yes. So, 
Dr. Koshik Tripathi, and uh, he won the IWIKI International Ophthalmologist Context Contest in 2020. So, Dr. Koshik Tripathi, are you there? Yes, sir. Can I say something uh, for Koshik? Because yes, Koshik is from uh, RP Center of Ophthalmic Sciences, and uh, I think he's the most brainiest uh, junior resident we or senior resident we've ever had. I mean, his level of thinking is absolutely different, too innovative, and such an analytical mind. I mean, he thinks beyond uh, beyond normal people or normal ophthalmologists. Yes, Kaushik, congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, actually, those are very nice words, and you have been a great mentor, and actually, you, what the most important thing is, you are so helpful in difficult times. And uh, this thing was, uh, this IOT topic was on people extension devices and uh, like people stretching devices. So this is the topic which won this award. There were four people from all over the world and uh, I got it. I was one among that. Thank you. Thank you, Kaush. Anybody from your family watching with you? Yes, sir. Not with me. They are from A, but they are watching this link. So I think uh, Dr. Lalit Verma sir is also Kashik. Dr. Dr. Lalit Verma sir is also. You work with him also. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, want to, sir. Dr. Yeah, Lalit Verma sir. I know. I I know about his brilliance, uh, but unfortunately, uh, he left for reasons best known to him. But mm -hmm. I agree with Namrata that uh, he is a very sharp uh, observer for uh, you know all the clinical uh, aspects. And that is what they fetched him award. All the best, Kaushik, for your all future endeavors. Uh, I have a request from Tushya Om Prakash that he just wants to uh, come in because he has two sessions lined up. So I the slides is a little fussy. So Tushya, can you come online and just yes. uh, uh, yeah, let yes. us know about your uh, award? I mean, yes. Dr. Tushya is from Amritsar, a very very dynamic young surgeon doing great job, lots of uh, good publications. And uh, is your father watching? Uh, sir, actually, he's, he's not here right now, but I'll be showing him the video later on. Fantastic. All the best, and uh, yeah. you're making him really proud. Please let Thank us you, know sir. from our behalf. Yeah, tell me, what did you win to share, and uh, what was this about? So basically, we won the second prize in the video competition in European Society of Cataract Surgery last year virtual conference. So we had uh, shown a video on intraoperative floppy iris syndrome. Intraoperative floppy iris syndrome, we feel is much more blamed than actually it should be. We feel a small change in calibrating the sideboard has made a large difference. In, in our video, we have shown a stepwise approach with the addition of calibrated sideboard that it, that it doesn't let IFS, IFIS to be a common entity in patients with tamsulosin. Moderate to severe IFIS doesn't exist in our practice with the addition of calibration of side port incision to the existing techniques. So this was the video we had won there, which got acknowledged. Fantastic. Uh, this is your what, third or fourth? I think so this is the third, I think. To share. Uh, so international hero is it's the third, sir. Fantastic. Yes. You're coming, coming close to, uh, Lalit sir had... Uh, given different names for those awards. Next year, physically, you'll probably get, I'm sure you'll keep winning every year. All the best. God bless. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. Dr. Lalit Verma, sir. I think uh, Lionel Raj does not need an introduction. Are you here, Dr. Lionel? Uh, yes, I'm here, sir. And he is a phenomenal, a phenomenal achiever because you see every, I think uh, this is his fifth or, you know, because uh, every uh, in the every hero session he's there, and I'm so proud of him. Honestly, Rohit, I had not known him uh, five six years back, but uh, now uh, it seems that he's you know winning in every heroes. In last year, uh, he was awarded I think the the best of the best. Yeah. You know? Yes, sir. Uh, Eighteen awards and uh, fourth in the row. So, what uh, inspires you to keep going? <laughs> uh, you see, I want to award. Yeah, yeah, please carry on. Passion to work. Passion to work, yeah. 
Lionel um, Lionel is you know just completely amazing, and I first my my first introduction to him was through the award, and then award after award, and then award after award, and award is one thing, but the work he's done, especially in cornea, has made a lot of difference to our clinical practice, and I think that is the most important thing. Some of the things they have even changed our clinical practice. Ma'am, you know, like fungal keratitis, that intercommunal sector. Yeah. Ma'am, when, ma when we make the slide, there are a few names with the alphabets where we write the names before they even submit the awards, because yeah. <laughs> it it just it, it just can't they can't just not be there. Yeah. So next time on the right side, you'll have to change. That's all. The rest can remain the same. <laughs> Line, Lionel, uh, anybody yes, from your family, wife is uh, watching? Yeah, yeah. My, my parents are on the other oh, side, okay. on, the, on the television and he's my younger one. So on, on behalf of all the people here, I want to, we want to tell your family that it's, you are one of the real pride of AIOS. Thank you so much. And uh, I let the family know how much we respect you. It's just not a small award. It's really the pride and uh, people, sir, people like all of you, really makes uh, India shine everywhere. I uh -huh. think uh, that's the whole purpose and let your family know about it. Yes. Thank you, I'm, sir. And I'm, I'm grateful to all my teachers, Dr. Amban, all my teachers uh, here and AOS. I'm really Thank grateful. You, Thank you. Thank you, Lani. Uh, Dr. Partha, sir. Yes. Madhu the Raju. And this young gentleman, Madhu, are you there? Yes, sir. I am here. Again, Cornia. You know, I'm really getting jealous of uh, Navrata. You better, oh, yeah. Cornia yeah, people. <laughs> so, but I, I, I think I'll take this credit of uh, introducing Madhu because Madhu is such a young you can. guy. Uh, really I'll allow smart. you to take that credit. It's fine, Parto. <laughs> <laughs> and he won the best video award for Bowman's Slayer Transplantation at the American Academy of Ophthalmology. A big congratulations, Madhu. Wish you so Thank much you. success, so much success. And uh, as Rohit said, that are your parents, are your fam is your family here also with us? Yes, sir. My dad is watching from home. I am in the hospital. Fantastic, fantastic. So uh, if your dad is online, then uh, thank you, sir, for... Uh, uh, the bright youngster that you have given to ophthalmology. Thank you very much, sir. So I think Can you tell in one line about this uh, Bowman layer transplantation? Yes, sir. Actually, Bowman's layer transplantation was started by Professor Millis. He does it routinely. We have modified it by adding the stroma layer also, like 80 to 100 micron stroma. And our procedure is totally extraocular, sir. We don't go any intraocular like uh, Millis. So our advantage with our procedure is it also renders the cornea eligible for cross-linking. So in that way, our procedure stands out from the uh, previous thing, sir. Okay, keep keep working hard and keep winning sir. more and more. Thank you, sir. Thank very, you. Very, very useful technique, sir. And also, I think he's also one more very good thing he's done is that he's made a slit lamp, uh, a specular microscopy for eye bank corneas in Indian version. And uh, I was uh, fortunate to, you know, inaugurate that. And thank you, Madhu, and keep doing the oh, good. My pleasure. It is marketed by Aurolab and it's yeah, uh, used uh, yeah. throughout the... Thank but... you so much, man. Thank you. On this occasion, I would like to thank my father, teachers, Dr. Prajna, sir, MS, sir, and my uh, chairman, Dr. S. Chandrasekhar. Thank you so much. Thank you so much again. Uh, Dr. Lalit Parma, sir, would you like to introduce... Uh... Dr. Uh, Rehman uh, is being uh, honored primarily for this uh, research project grant from Kiran Division, WASB, by, by Government of India. A very, a very proud moment. In fact, very rarely you will see Government of India honoring anybody. Yeah. So, Dr. Rehman, are you there? Yes, sir. And this WASB is actually Women of Thalmic Society. Yeah, yeah. So, I think Women of Thalmic Society is helping at these... Uh, uh, young ophthalmologists to, you know, uh, um, get uh, grants from Department of Science and Technology. Which, is, which is, Mohita, is Mohita there or Mohita is there? Mohita is not there. Because Mohita is on the forefront of, I remember, Rohit uh, as well as uh, Mohita. Uh, yeah, they are instrumental. Biotechno, so. yeah, 
Ma'am, one but correction, yeah. ma'am. Namrata, ma'am. Just one correction. This is a uh, women uh, research scheme, uh, but mm. the, but this time the WAS people ap applied for it. So that the WAS is not women ophthalmology, but it's a women in research. So yeah. it is the division of a Kiran division. That's the thing. And uh, this is quite prestigious because it goes it goes through multiple layers and layers of uh, uh, of uh, of interviews and all, and then finally they give money. And they usually goes to scientists, but this time Dr. Rahman has got it. Uh, can you quickly tell us what is your topic and uh, what you plan to do with this? Uh, with this uh, funding. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for your kind introduction. Sir, uh, the, the project that we are uh, going to do is to take fundus photographs of people who are diagnosed with CBD and then to develop a software which would help to predict, predict CBD in undiagnosed cases. We would uh, we would launch fundus cameras in rural areas so that people can be uh, diagnosed well before they develop actual symptoms based on the retinal pictures. And you are collaborating with any cardiologists for this? Yes, sir. we are collaborating with uh, our local hospitals here, cardiologists, and uh, we, are, uh, we have already started. Sir. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rahman. And your family is watching it? Yes, sir. So my sister is watching from Mumbai. Okay. Congrats, congrats to your whole family for this. Thank you. God bless. Thank you so much, sir. Dr. Partha, sir, would you like to introduce Dr. Nasik Hassan? Dr. Partha, Nasik sorry, Hassan. can I introduce Nasik Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma I'm mm -hmm. so terribly sorry. He is not cornea, but uh, he is very dear to me and uh, he's Dr. Nasik Hassan. Yes, ma'am. Senior resident, uh, senior resident from RP Center. A very, and he was also the ORA secretary. ORA secretary, which is our local uh, uh, local ophthalmic research association in RP Center. I'm really proud of him, of his surgical skills, of his organizational skills, and he's just a dynamo, a powerhouse of you know uh, energy, and he can just do anything. So Nasik, all to you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for the kind words. Uh, Congratulations, Nasik. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Your family is watching, Dr. Nasik? Uh, yes, sir. My fiance is watching from Boston. Uh, and Boston. <laughs> and uh, I would like to dedicate this award to Dr. Asif, who was my cornea colleague who helped me a lot in this uh, paper. And yeah, ma'am was my uh, co author, along with uh, Rohan, sir, who was my retina mentor. And uh, yes, sir, I'm very thankful for the recognition. And uh, right now, I'd also like, like to thank my present boss. Professor Lionel, sir, who's already got his award. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, uh, sir, uh, shall I uh, just 10 seconds? Uh, Nasik is doing wonderful work with us. Uh, he's, he's, he's very nice. Namrata man has given a, a gold coin to us. Thank you. <laughs> I, think, I think, Lionel, sir, I think there must be some nice Vastu in your place. Anybody who goes there become India heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, sir. Dr. Nikhil Balakrishnan, uh, I would like to introduce, he was a uh, fellow here. Nikhil, are you here? Nikhil is here? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, he's a fellow here and uh, he was one of the first international meet on a virtual platform. The, the, this was uh, from uh, Brazil and they had the world uh, cataract and refractive uh, uh, symposium and they had this video and all that. So, he did... Uh, a video on aerosols, which became a paper. He was part of it. So, Nikhil, uh, your, your parents are watching this? Yes, sir. They are uh, all watching from home. His wife is also was my fellow, and they got married when they were fellows here. And uh, Dr. Nitin Balakrishnan is a well-known ophthalmologist uh, from Mumbai. I think it's a proud moment. This is your second uh, time or a third time? Yes, sir. Second time, sir. God bless. I think uh, all the best. And uh, next year, it's going to be in Mumbai work hard and try to be on the stage physically for your third award. God bless. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Congratulations. Uh, Dr. Nisha, I would introduce her uh, again. This is uh, the same WAS B scheme, part of uh, the WAS from uh, Women Ophthalmic Society. They submitted uh, four or five projects of which three of them got through. 
and uh, known Nisha for some time because uh, I mentored her with that project which she got the uh, the WAS award. A uh, very very hard working girl. Nisha, are you here? Yes, sir. You're with your uh, daughter, son. No, sir. Actually, it's nap time for her, so she's not available. <laughs> okay, she missed the moment. Anyway, we <laughs> can you can record it for her. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think uh, people like you and Dr. Rahman are the ones who are uh, showing up for the uh, for the wars uh, as a society that you know research can be taken up as areas of interest along with your uh, other clinical uh, space. God bless you and uh, keep us informed about uh, how you want to do this project. I mean, what's the, what, what project are you talking about? What project are you doing? Can you just let us know very quickly? Yes, sir. So, so it's a creation of a website, uh, which is like a database for all those clinicians who, want, who are research enthusiasts, but they don't have enough directions how to go about it. Because I was also like same one year back, but I got the mentorship of Dr. Mohita ma'am and she's directing us, she's guiding us. So we'll be providing a database of all the mentors, all those uh, clinicians who want to yes. take a part in research and all the, uh, we will enlist all the opportunities also which are available for them. Namrata ma'am, she is, uh, Nisha is now helping uh, that red issue of IGO and coordinating and a lot of uh, work she's working on that doing a good job on that. All the best. Thank you. Partha, sir. Yes. Uh, Praveen Kumar is the, has been awarded the ACRS Film Festival winner of glaucoma surgery category with the title of the video being Mission Impossible MIGS for the Developing World. Pavan, uh, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you okay. hear me, sir? Yes, we can hear you. We can see you with your family. Uh, yes. Thank you very much, Pavan, for joining in. Uh, can you tell uh, very in uh, just crisp words, yes, what sir. is the video about? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so this is the video I submitted in the last uh, ASRS 2020, for which I had even got uh, a Baco grant of about 5,000 US dollars to travel there and attend uh, physically the conference at Boston. Unfortunately, I, I couldn't go because of Corona. So the video is basically on, uh, since the minimally invasive, can, minimally invasive glaucoma surgery is not that much prevalent in India. So my video describe, uh, describes a step-by-step -step, uh, adaptation of this MIGS in uh, Indian uh, country through, uh, by performing a successful intraoperative gonioscopy, then low cost MIGS uh, procedures and the future of MIGS procedure in India. So for which I was awarded uh, best uh, video in that category. So. Fantastic, fantastic, very nice. So congratulations, your family is there and congratulations to your entire family. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Congrats. Congrats, Pavan. Thank you. Namrata, ma'am, she wants you only to introduce her because uh, she's one of your biggest fans. Mm -hmm. So she's told me very clearly that it has to yeah, be... I think Rohit, Rohit <laughs> you should introduce her. You know her uh, very well. But I think uh, Pooja Kamar is the uh, epitome for all young ophthalmologists to emulate. Uh, she, what she has done at this age and at this stage is something, you know, which is really uh, something very inspiring. And I'm, I, I, I'm just absolutely, I am also completely a fan of her work, uh, the amount of dedication, hard work, her turnaround time. I mean, you tell her anything and within a second, it just comes out. I know that I have told her to do something. And then within an hour, even, you know, at midnight, she would just send it back. Uh, she's done PhD at such a young age and then into basic sciences, translational sciences. Uh, I've seen her uh, through everything. I mean, uh, through, I, I remember going to Narayan Netrale where there was a surgical program on, you know, mentoring, uh, mentoring the young ophthalmologists there. And then most importantly, like I say, people do research, people do get awards, but how have they made difference to the clinical practice? I think that is most important. And several of her works, in fact, I think almost 90% of her works, works are such that they have made a difference in the clinical practice. And that is reflected not only nationally, but also internationally. And I think that is the most important thing. I feel patents are important, but I think more important than patents are the, the fact that you've managed to change 
the clinical practice and the best recognition comes from the peers so if your peers are able to recognize that are able to change their practice that would translate into you know patient care but uh, i think that way she is most widely recognized by the international peers and i think that is the best form of recognition that anybody can get and doing at this age and this stage kudos to you pooja Keep thank you ma'am i i don't have anything to say after your introduction i think i i am going to ask for this recording and keep it in my uh, <laughs> phone forever this introduction was uh, wonderful ma'am thank you thank you so much her family her family is all the people she trains now she has okay. taken up that road and along with lionel the other person who is one from the time from 2016 to today has been dr pooja the sheetal was the third person sheetal has not applied but still i want to put it on record that sheetal brar but still she was uh, uh, she was she would have been the winner because she had the some award logged in from us sir so he's watching wow, wow. right if i remember she had won the double uh, doctorate this which uh, i had read last yes time. sir last year last yeah. year. one of the rare uh, achievements for any ophthalmologist pooja thank you sir can you tell us about that double doctorate wo bahut logo ko pata nahi hai uh basically uh, uh, like you know we do mbbs but i did a phd as ma'am mentioned and i defended my phd last year so uh, being a doctor and a phd uh, graduate i that's why they call it a double doctorate my phd was on wound healing in refractive surgery where i tried comparing the biomechanical and the molecular outcomes in all different types of refractive surgery how they behave and how we can do it a mod like a, a translation in future basically so how we can uh, customize our treatments uh, with different kits or like a collagen sen- uh, polarization sensitive oct or uh, other therapeutics and uh, bring it uh, for better patient outcomes thank you pooja all the best great thanks thank you डॉक्टर so uh venkatesh ramesh are you there yes sir uh, thank you sir uh, i just wanted to show uh... yeah yeah please yes we can see you ramesh ah uh, yes sir i am i am visible sir yes yes so my, my concept was on uh, we just created a cubicle sir and uh, is actually published in the indian journal of ophthalmology there was a physical barrier between the patient and the doctor because The touch, interpersonal touch, was actually missing between the doctor and the patient. So that we made sure that we collected data from the patient during the wait time, and then we utilized the same to deliver a customized, good quality care during the COVID crisis. So that was one part of it, and the second part is we interconnected all the instruments in the common uh, area, so that uh, we are able to uh, use every gadget to the maximum potential through wireless local area network. The second thing is uh, the animation project that uh, is currently working on. and uh, next week uh, for the world glaucoma congress also uh, there is an animation project that i am presenting so the whole glaucoma uh, itself to make a teaching video on how to simplify the concepts of glaucoma for neophytes from uh, with animation point of view so these are the two i am working on great so are you still using this uh, yes sir uh, currently we are uh, still using this uh, yes sir prasanna dr prasanna is your, your parent the your dad there yeah. Yes, it's wanted to see. Congratulations to and dad and mom really. both. Both are of entire family. Yeah, we, I know him very well, this. and uh, they problem. are from uh, Tirti. Mahatma is still. So, okay. yes. when he was an intern way back in seven years back, not even ophthalmology. I hope you remember. You were sitting uh, in yes, a. Yes, I remember. It, we, uh, my memory is very strong. I remember we spoke to him in a hotel lobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I had this background photo to show you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hotel lobby. <laughs> I was uh, I was an I was an intern, but the way you spoke with me for four hours, I did not know who you were then. But my father told me he's he's speaking to you for four hours. That was a motivating thing for me. Really. Uh, Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs> this is the this is the photo of the cubicle. Sir, though it's small, I just wanted to show it to the forum also. We have used green mat. 
So that this is the cubicle that we have created. And you can see that all the instruments were brought into the cubicle so that we reduce the patient movement inside the hospital premises. And uh, this is the dimension of the cubicle where uh, the patient can place their head and their leg while performing the test. And the doctors can also feel safe. And with information integrated system, we have connected all the cubicle and uh, through any, any desk or team, team you work, even uh, the elderly people can view the data from home. Uh, so this is what uh, uh, we have done, sir. And we are still doing it. Uh, we thought of dismantling it, but then the second wave came. So it's still uh, currently- keep it, keep it for a few more years. A lot of waves are going to come. Oh. And uh, Namrata, ma'am, and uh, Lalit, sir, and uh, Partha, sir, and I don't know whether you've been to their practice. You know, they do, even though it's a little smaller town, they do a very, very high-end, uh, uh, very good work, like what we do in, say, Bangalore or that kind of a place. A lot of interest in academics, a lot of interest in new technologies. I think more than me, I think the credit should go to your family, your wife, and... Uh, your parents. <laughs> no, no, sir, actually, my, my daughter, she is presenting on a final tomorrow on artificial intelligence. They are into a lot of newer projects. Uh, so many things. Very, I very, very, very happy to see such a positive feel in during this time. God bless, and we'll see you next time on a physical platform. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you thank you. Sir. Thank you. Sir. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Dr. Partha, sir, would you like yes. to introduce Dr. Sure, Prashant sure. Girish? Dr. Prashant Girish, and uh, he has received the award at the third annual scientific conference of the Ophthalmological Society of Kenya 2020 for the 3D printing of the eye, a novel innovation in surgical training. So in short, can you tell us, Prashant, uh, what you did? Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. And uh, I'm very happy that, uh, you know, uh, being in this platform here and honored by the IOS. Uh, 3D printing is uh, a technology which is evolving in medicine and definitely in eye care it has created a lot of, uh, uh, you know, competence and revolution in orbital planning of the surgeries as well as in adapters and such. So we wanted to innovate something with for surgical training and it was a 3D printed model which is an ABS base uh, created with an acrylic mode in the cornea and it was used for practicing in the dry uh, FICO uh, techniques in the wet camp. Prashant is joined with your daughter. Yeah, yeah. Daughter. Her name is Sara. Hi, Sara. Hi. Why are you here? What's happening? What is your da dad getting an award? Your dad, your dad is getting an award. He's made India proud. <laughs> you, you, you should also make him proud one day by getting an award like this. All the best, Dr. Prashant. God bless. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Namrata or Dr. Lalit, sir, would you like to introduce? Dr. Namrata, ma'am. Yeah. So, uh, Dr. Rashmi Krishnamurti is uh, Dr. Rashmi, Rashmi Krishnamurti is getting a runner-up award at the got runner-up award at the Askers Film Festival for the best video title. Pointers for performing successful tobacco tips for the beginners in the category of new producer, young physicians. So Rashmi. many congratulations, Rashmi, is there? Yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, and uh, who is joining you in taking this award? Is my uh, husband, Dr. Raj Gopal. What yeah. is he doing? Are you a doctor yourself, sir? Yes, yes, I am a doctor. I am an occupational health physician. I handle Reliance Industries Limited. Oh, fantastic. So, yeah, so it's a real pleasure for us. Uh, uh, I mean, spouse getting an honor and uh, good meeting you all. <laughs> and uh, Rashmi, can you tell me the two important pointers, what you found in your video, just two important pointers. The rest, we can always watch the videos. These are all freely available from the ASCRS website. Yeah, yeah. basically, uh, to do the tobacco identifying the Schlems canal is very important. So where the Schlems canal lies, the first uh, pointer is that uh, where the white meat do Schlem's weights for uh, you is what it is said that. So the junction of white and blue is where the uh, Schlem's canal is there. So that is where we have to do the start the tobacculotomy. And second thing is there is there are some uh, there will be some ooze that we see from the collector channels of the aqueous veins, and that ooze can be mixed with blood or it can be just an aqueous ooze in the area where we have already dissected the uh, superficial flap. So. That is one more pointer which says that that is where the Schlems canal is. Thank you, Rashmi. I think uh, keep winning. 
and next year bring uh, your 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 husband along with you when you take the physical award i'm sure uh, with your kind of uh, uh, videos you're making i mean this is just a this is just a beginning god thank bless you and all the best thank you thank you thank you, for thank you so much thank you all uh, i would introduce rituja uh, because she was one of our uh, bnb fellowship she spent a long long time with us and now she is relocated to delhi again uh, husband uh, was a fellow and they got married during the fellowship rituja is he watching you yes sir he is watching <laughs> your dad is watching you yeah my parents are watching from bangalore sir. and yeah. your uh, in laws are watching yeah everyone uh, is logged in as you know for ai os so all of them are watching <laughs> okay fantastic it's a very uh, i would like to introduce this project because this project she won a big beer grant from the global Op ophthalmic award it's a very prestigious one not many people have got it rituja did her thesis on aropi with anand and then uh, again uh, she decided not to take up uh, retina but cho she chose uh, oculoplasty but continued to help anand in uh, in writing up this grant and is one of the youngest graduates given for uh, less than what 25 how old are you 21 <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's uh, microphone is on. Can you off it, please? Doctor Ashok, uh, your microphone is on. So, can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, this is. Sorry, asking, sorry, sorry. What I was asking was, what were these biomarkers in the tears you found? Uh, so basically, there was an entire panel of biomarkers which were tested, out of which uh, the angiogenin and the VEGF was found to be extremely low in the uh, babies who sort of progressed in their ROP or went on to have uh, uh, treatment requiring disease. So uh, that was the basic thing. So from they have, a, they have a predictive value. Yes, sir. yes, sir. that's what's been found. So it's yes. still ongoing, sir. We're we're just uh, uh, at the end of the. project thank you rituja and uh, uh thanks uh, tushar also who allowed you to complete your fellowship in spite <laughs> of him finishing and uh, he stayed back and i mean you had to you had to thank him also and yes. he was I, I, i he did not disturb you in your learning yes the best thing he could do uh, i thank him on our behalf and uh, thank you all the best and we'll see you more often on the stage on the india hero awards thank you so much sir thank you congratulations rituja thank you ma'am congratulations and welcome to delhi <laughs> thank you ma'am congratulations to delhi award winners right <laughs> <laughs> sir dr maipal is here uh, sir could you introduce dr sahil yeah pleasure to introduce dr sahil agarwal uh, iwiki international ophthalmologist 2020 awarded by the american academy of ophthalmology again i would say it's a prestigious award and he's also <clears throat> been awarded for the best free paper uh, at the 13th joint uh, uh, meeting of the korean china japan ophthalmologist meeting 2020 at seoul korea uh, uh, sahil uh, congratulations and could you so just uh, let us uh, know a little bit about what these uh, papers were about right uh, sahil, sahil just one second before you speak i'm going to speak because he's again from rp center and he's doing senior residency nearly completed senior residency in oculoplasty again extremely enterprising and uh, very helpful to everybody and a great oculoplasty surgeon because he is in our sister unit we meet should meet each other you know on all days ot days opd days etc and all our oculoplasty goes to luja or to sai i'm i'm very humble for your words ma'am uh, i mean i would like to Firstly, thank the institute for always providing us a, a facility and being privileged that we, I'm at this institute and uh, we are always at ease to do all the researches of, uh, that we can. And secondly, I would like to thank Ma'am Namita Ma'am for both being uh, academic push for us as well as uh, uh, helping us at every every level. Whatever things we require at the institute for whatever problems we have, even even our individual problems, we can always walk into our uh, her office and get our things uh, resolved. Thank you so much, Ma'am. Ma'am, congrats to you. I think eight seventy percent are from RP Center this time. <laughs> yes, yes. 
teachers should also take i mean uh, you know Thank we should also you. accept it sometimes i'm proud of all of them <laughs> dr sail anybody from your family joining you uh, so my wife is watching right from the hospital and my dad is giving me a baby a nap sir so, yeah. uh, <laughs> Congrats! I we thank uh, them for their support in your uh, work also. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much, sir. Dr. Saloni, I would introduce. She just finished her fellowship with us. Uh, she is from Ahmedabad. Very, very good surgeon. Very skilled. Uh, and uh, I was very honored to train her here. She won uh, the next calculator for uh, calculating the thin cornea cross-linking. And uh, are you? joining uh, somebody joining you with anybody joining you saloni on this yes sir i have my mother here with me and oh. my husband as such is seeing from the other end he's on the zoom meet himself <laughs> so congrats uh, i thank uh, your mom from on our behalf and yes, one sir. of uh, one of very very supportive families she never took a single day leave during her fellowship two years and uh, this was a covid batch we expected people to be extremely scared of this but she worked as though there was no covid and i'm sure wherever you are you're going to do very well in life and uh, this let it be the first and she also had uh, when one of the cataract session i think she won uh, i don't know about the results what where what happened but i mean that shows that you're still you are in the still in that fighting spirit thank you saloni god bless but for the kind and we are very thankful to you sir because you have provided a very good uh, teaching and skill <laughs> thank you ma'am thank you god bless thank you thanks namrata ma'am i don't know this person you'll have to introduce her i know her better than you <laughs> sharan are you here sharan are you here yes sir yes so sharan uh, de souza a uh, very uh, what do you say uh, very modest person uh, she is you can only actually see the tip of the iceberg because she is you know that much down and her work now on raya again is you know making waves and uh, is being recognized everywhere internationally some greatest <laughs> concepts are coming she's doing her phd and i know that uh, at the end of the phd she would have you know completely unraveled the subject of raya which is so difficult and ocular surface disease excellent work it is very difficult to get clinicians uh, into the translational research but uh, thanks to rohit chetty thanks to narayan netray natrale and all the institutes who are able to do that i mean you really have to go extra miles to get a uh, clinical uh, thing translated into uh, uh, into uh, combine it with basic sciences and then get it to translational research again she whatever work you give her whatever i have worked with her little she's extremely prompt and uh, the inputs her inputs are just excellent i mean whatever she does i have to correct nothing after that and i'm sure sharan uh, that this is just a beginning and uh, again there is a whole big world there waiting to recognize you and to recognize your talent and your contributions to ophthalmology just one point i want to add that uh... in spite of aios and all that she happened to submit uh, two papers to ocular surface one to nature one to science and uh, one to negm and uh, that means that she is obsessively perfectionist that's her biggest uh, thing i keep telling you to your obsessive obsessive being a perfectionist so uh, so sharan uh, congrats to you on this uh, uh, your husband is an orthopedic surgeon is he watching um i had sent him the link i don't know if he's in surgery but my parents are here with my son so thank you so much i i mean i have no words really it is it is amazing to get this award from all of you dr rohit has been my mentor for many many years uh, dr namrata ma'am always always supportive and everyone here and of course my family my parents <laughs> literally i wouldn't be able to work if it wasn't for them i, I would to like to take a minute to uh to thank your family especially your parents and in-laws you know it's the best parents and the best in-laws to get if you are a working and if you are Absolutely. an obsessively obsessively perfectionist like you mm-hmm. you know, they allow you so to i think maybe amrit is also here but anyway amrit was my <laughs> classmate so it's okay <laughs> <laughs> so but i think uh, they they did deserve it more than amrit yeah. but uh, the amount of help they give you in doing making sure that you remain focused on your work 
Is something a blessing? I think keep blessed and stay blessed. Congrats. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Uh, Rohit and Sharon, I think it's uh, really commendable for uh, uh, having uh, tried and submitted. I don't know whether they were accepted, but going to science and nature and NEJM is really very, very Even great. Ocular surface. Ocular surface is the highest impact yeah. factor. Uh, she got one already, ma'am. She got yeah. one already. And uh, and uh, all the three have, at least, I don't know, but all three have gone for review. So. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> Right. I'm sure they'll be accepted knowing Sharon. I mean, going for review and is knowing itself. You. Knowing yes. you and Sharon, I'm sure they'll be accepted. Thank you. Wonderful. I think uh, the, I, we need to put a toss who will introduce uh, Srinivas, but Maipal sir is a senior most here. <laughs> and uh, I think he has to do the honors. I mean, he's a, Srinivas again has been there for, for uh, I think this is his fifth or sixth award. Srinivas, are you here? And the first time uh, wife, husband and wife both getting an award. Great. Shirinivas, uh, congratulations. He is the always ever smiling, uh, helpful, great guy. Shirinivas Joshi, uh, Joshi, I think uh, it's always a treat, Shirinivas, to watch your videos uh, and uh, specifically the ones where you handle the tough and the difficult cases. So this award uh, at the ASRSS, uh, RS, that is the Retina Society, recipient of the best of the show, Red Buckler Award for the best video on light at the end of the funnel. So we already heard light at the end of the tunnel, but this is end of the funnel, opening closed funnel pediatric RDs. I think he's a master surgeon and a very skillful uh, surgeon at that. And uh, obviously the videos are par excellence. Congratulations, Shirinivas. You always do us proud and we are happy that this time you and your wife and uh, obviously Partha was saying complications created by your wife got your uh, by you got your wife the best uh, video award so congratulations to both of you uh -huh. thank you uh, Partha. may i uh, yeah, congratulations uh, shrinivas and uh, deepti also uh, you see i had uh, the opportunity to see him live operating also when uh, he was operating shrinivas you remember in unity yes, machine sir. yes sir i didn't know and, that uh, was sitting in my back yeah <laughs> he, he demonstrated a very nice, very complicated uh, uh, membrane peel in front of the entire audience. And uh, he has won so many awards uh, in internationally, more than AIUS awards. And that is what, uh, uh, you know, made me invite him when he was in U.S. as a guest faculty. For the first time, as the guest faculty, he has done pioneering work on, uh, on um, artificial eye. Shinivas, can you tell a few words about... Uh, I know this video I've seen, uh, like at the internal, uh, fantastic video, but uh, but about the about the work you had done in US. Yes, sir. I did it in Toronto. That was about uh, the artificial retina. That is the Argus two, which is the first US FDA approved unit. Uh, there are certain advantages that it's the answer to uh, blindness, or the, or the basically for the patients who are suffering from RP. But still, we are far away from reality because the best visual acuity noted is twenty by one thousand. And the best field field of view is just only 20 degrees because it comes with only 60 microelectrodes. But anyhow, they are trying to plan it with uh, 200 microelectrodes, probably with Argus 3. That's going to be the game changer. But I'm thankful to uh, Dr. Robert Deveni, whom we worked uh, both together on this Argus implant. And that's how I got a good exposure with him. So deep is with you? Very yes, sir. So definitely, uh, I would like to thank uh, my mentor, Dr. Guru Prasad, sir, and Dr. Vaiching Lam. And uh, basically, my colleague, Dr. Gir Guru, uh, Giriraj, whom I owe a lot for this video, especially he worked a lot for the uh, editing and all those purposes. My co-author, Dr. Apurva, and of course, uh, my family is my better half, Dr. Deepti. And I'm so proud today that we both are uh, sharing the award uh, from all the great stalwarts like you, Maipal sir, Rohit sir, Namrata madam, Partha sir. It's really an honor for both of us and uh, we are always blessed uh, uh, to both of us receiving the award from you, sir. And uh, my parents, of course, uh, because of whom I'm here today. And uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Rohit, sir. Thank, thank you. you, Srinivas. God bless. Bye. Congratulations. Congratulations, Srinivas. I think, I think uh, do you leave any AS, ASRS conference without winning an award? I don't think so. I'm uh, uh, happy to share that I recently uh, uh, was awarded the fellow of ASRS. The five Indians received this year. I know, I know. Yeah, it's called as the fellow of ASRS and I'm really uh, thankful to all of you. And it's so Thank nice you. that you recognize it, sir. It really keeps pushing the youngsters. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Dr. Partha, sir, would you like to introduce uh, Dr. Sumit? Sumit uh, Snehal. So Dr. Partha is not here. Uh, Dr. Smith uh, Snehal is won the DOS International Hybrid Conference uh, 2020 in refractive surgery, e-poster, free paper, and e-poster in refractive surgery. Uh, Dr. Snehal, are you here? Yes, sir. Okay. So you have won uh, four awards. Which is your favorite and why? Very short. Uh, so the first prize for e-poster in pediatric ophthalmology because that was my paper. That was my thesis, actually. Okay. Uh, so uh, apart from this, four, I have won one more award uh, in the same conference. Third prize in cataract, which was which again is one of my favorite because that's the, the swivel I will design by Dr. Shri Ganesh, sir. Okay. So and, uh, also... Smilectasia also, the incidence of smilectasia, first prize in uh, refract, second prize in the refractive surgery, e-poster. Fantastic. You know, during the COVID time to be uh, active in uh, presenting and winning is a big thing. Any family members joining you in this uh, mom in this moment? Uh, so my wife is here with me. Uh, we just got married five days back. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Is she yes. ophthalmologist? Uh, no, sir. She's, she's an engineer. She's uh, Miss Kerala 2020. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Nehal, and uh, all the best. And wish you see you in uh, the physical format sometime. God bless. Thank you, sir. So I would like to uh, dedicate this award to my father, uh, late Shri Snehal, late Shri Snehal Sute. Yes. Uh, he was my superhero and he was a hero in true sense of every word. And I'm also gr very grateful and indebted to my mentors, Dr. Shri Ganesh sir and Dr. Sheetal ma'am for all the opportunities. I completed my fellowship two months back and I've joined back as a junior consultant uh, at Netra Dhamma itself. So I thank them for the all the opportunities that I get. You get the best. You have the best questions. God bless. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. You are at the best place. Thank you, sir. Sonia is uh, was my ex-fellow. She finished uh, last year. She's practicing now in uh, Mumbai. And uh, Sonia, are you here? Yes, sir. And... Uh, very, very uh, meticulous and a very good surgeon. And uh, she again, uh, her paper won the best paper at the, uh, and also travel award, but uh, they couldn't go because of COVID at the World Optimic Congress. So who's joining you in, in collecting this award today? Uh, my husband is here and I don't, I'm not able to see the screen. So actually... He can see them, husband and mother, is it? <laughs> yes, yes, husband and mother and my sister is also here. Fantastic. You can see all of them, Sonia. <laughs> Namrata, ma'am, uh, I want to say that her mother, uh, during the first wave of COVID, uh, voluntarily, they had a hospital. If I'm right, your mother is a gynecologist. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Sir. And voluntarily, she, in the first wave, and nobody had any clue about it, they voluntarily gave up their hospital to the municipal uh, uh, body. And the municipal body had to take out the entire hospital because nobody was giving them bets. <laughs> I think, uh, I think along with you, I think a big round of applause to your mother Thank and, you. uh, for what she did. Because at that point of time, I was wondering who would give a hospital when you had no vaccines, no treatment, nothing. I think, uh, and she worked in the same hospital for the COVID, and I think it's a big round of applause for her. Thank you so much. Uh, sir. Also, uh, your family who supported you in this. And your sister is also a doctor, am I right? Yes, sir. She is doing dentistry, sir. Okay, fantastic. God bless you and uh, see you next year in a physical format in thank Mumbai. You. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I would like to thank Rohit, sir. And um, Sharon, ma'am, and uh, Dr. Pooja, ma'am, as well. Because it is not without their help that this would have been possible. Thank you so much. Proud to be an NNIT always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Soumya again wa was my ex-fellow and uh, Soumya are you here? I'm here, I'm here sir, thank you. Um, she had one big complaint that before we started EIO's Hero Award, she said <laughs> I finished all my awards. She said I <laughs> went back. and she said they should give me retrospectively. I said go to GBM <laughs> and fight with Namrata ma'am. <laughs> People who won this award before uh, before 2016. So she had won close to 10 or 12 international awards at that point of time, but there was no nothing to recognize. Uh, apart from the present award, 
what i'm really proud of what she is doing is she is in a place in uh, karnataka called the switzerland of india mm-hmm. and a hospital is inside a big forest to, to go to a for, go to a hospital is going to a as every day drive is like you're driving through a uh, driving to the most beautiful part of the world uh, what we are proud of today is she has again converted her hospital to covid care hospital and she herself is one of the covid uh, doctors there there was husband and wife and husband is uh, is doing great work in that place and that hospital is completely converted and that's a fantastic thing you're doing even though it's not an we can't give a name to that award but this is according to me the better award than what you already got namrata ma'am or uh, partha sir lalit verma sir anybody wants to say anything i think i completely agree with you rohit that this is the uh, best award and the best service that you have done uh, for which probably there are no tangible or you know objective kind of uh, Uh, recognition but uh, that these are acts you know which uh, pay off later in life and uh, congratulations to you congratulations to you for all the awards for which we could not recognize on the international ophthalmic heroes of india and uh, like i said earlier some problem is the connection so uh, yeah, that I is what you know everybody expires for it's 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 our failure in fact uh, you see that is what uh, when i introduced this uh, forum uh, i recognized that this is failure of uh, ai us scientific community not to know so thanks to the social media that i was uh, made aware that so many people are winning awards and scientific community is not doing anything and then i spoke to roy shetty that can we can we do something he said it's a brilliant idea go ahead so that was the genesis of international ophthalmic heroes so hats off to people like you who win so many awards but i think uh, we have to accept defeat that we somehow do not recognize enough talent which exists in our country uh, soumya your husband is with you or anybody joining yes, yes sir my husband yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's logged in from his consultation chamber also my brother has logged in from australia and uh, my parents and my daughter have logged in from home we want uh, to my, my team my hospital team has logged in from the reception so uh, it's a great experience and so thankful that you made it possible for all of us to be here together and, and uh, uh, basically want to t- tell all the people who logged in that we are really proud of what you have done academically and the being a covid hospital voluntarily converting it into a covid hospital and you and husband running it we are very proud it's come in papers recently it came on tv and uh, we have seeing it very very uh, uh, you know many times that this part of poor did not have a proper healthcare system to take care of this people and uh, she she and her husband are doing a great job including you. your team i think dr maipal can sir can say a few words then we'll move on to the next presenter congratulations dr somia i think uh, being on the forefront as a covid warrior at this particular time and helping out community there cannot be any better service and i congratulate you for uh, uh, having worked so well uh, in ophthalmology and now uh, coming forward uh, as a hero uh, i would say as a hero for uh, india and uh, against the war uh, for community you your husband your family the entire team of your hospital congratulations and god bless thank you thank you sir thank you thank you rohit sir mahipal sir lalit verma sir ma'am namrata ma'am and partha sir and i think i'll always be very grateful to dr rohit shetty for training me as a fellow and i even after of close to 10 years i still feel like a fellow and i think i will always continue to feel like that because is always out there guiding us and helping us out whenever needed and even uh, when we started our covid ward he was one of the, one of the first people who called and he said i'd like to sponsor one bed and uh, he sent us a 10 liter oxygen concentrator right at the beginning uh, so thank you sir for always being there and uh, i'm very fortunate to have you as my mentor thank you god bless we'll thank see you, you more awards next year thank you sir Dr uh, Partha sir are you here Dr Lalit Verma sir would you like to introduce Dr Sumit Grover yeah, it's my privilege to you know introduce uh, Dr Grover 
for having won two of this awards. One is the IAPB Health Hero Award, and other is the Cooper Prize for Best Research Project, Role of non ophthalmologist Human Resource in Diabetes Retinopathy Screening. Uh, are you there, Sumit? Yes, sir. Greetings of the day, everyone, sir. Yeah, I'm here. So congratulations. Uh, you see, tell us something about this uh, screening diabetes retinopathy globally because it's a burning issue. And even <laughs> uh, you see the Google boss uh, Pichai is also involved in this. Yeah. Sir, Pichai, yeah. Artif yeah, Pichai, sir, Google uh, initiated the artificial intelligence factor into the diabetic retinopathy screening. But basically, uh, it was uh, my research project uh, in uh, LSHTM where I was doing my MS in public health for eye care. And it was an in-depth review of literature of uh, all the non-ophthalmologist human resource doing DR screening globally, worldwide. Uh, and I, with my supervisor, uh, who is a Vision 2020 link program manager for, for the global platform, uh, Sazonder One, we, we studied that uh, how uh, ophthalmic nurse or uh, optometrist or uh, you know ophthalmic technician globally in develop and in developing words are doing or participating in the grading of dr and then uh, as a part of the dissertation i also uh, did a situational analysis of haryana state it was perspective of the provision of dr screening among eye healthcare practitioner and uh, uh, we just you know uh, take over take over the good practices best practices which were going on uh, worldwide and uh, i would like to make a framework of these uh, best practices and try to apply in uh, as a pilot project in haryana state thank so you don't, so much. Don't, uh, don't stop here don't stop here carry forward thank you yeah. sir. yes All thank you best. so much sir. god All bless best. yeah sir i just want to dedicate this award uh, i just want to mention two of my mentors uh, who have been uh, since the inception of my journey in community ophthalmology, Dr. Harsha Bhattacharji from Shri Shankara Deva Netrale and Dr. Praveen Vashisht from RP Center in and my my parents for their love and support. Sir. Thank you so much for this honor. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Tushya, we have finished already and uh, this is his award. Dr. Vinit Ratra, sir, are you here? Yeah, I'm there and there. Uh, Fantastic. And uh, very nice to see you, sir. Hydrogenic uh, despetorexis during cataract surgery. Uh, uh, science. Uh, this was a video, sir, or a paper? A video. Uh, it got the runners up in the uh, askers. Ma'am has joined you here on this? She's there on the other link. Uh, I think she had a session, so she's okay. there. Uh, Okay. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. Wonderful. This is the first time, sir, or you've been here previously? First time. First time. We'll see you next year, sir, with the physical format. Nice to see you on stage with Madam. Thank you. Congratulations, Ratra. Nice That's to see you. Me, sir. Thank you. Nice to see you, sir. And very nice of you to have something like this to recognize people. I think we'll continue this, don't worry. We yes. <laughs> We'll see you next week, my sir. Part, sir. Thank you so much. You've been a fantastic president uh, last year through all these tough times. Uh, thank you so much. And really hats off to you for all the work that you all, you, Namrata, all of you have done over the last uh, year. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dr. Lalit Verma, sir, or Dr. Namrata, anyone of you uh, want to introduce? Yeah, uh, uh, Yes, sir, please. Yeah, I have known I have known this young uh, boy for the last so many years, and he is improving every year. Every year is getting something new, and uh, he is best known for his skills in VR surgery. And in fact, the entire Rajasthan scene of retina surgery has changed after he, you know, started doing there. Congratulations, Vishal, for yet another uh, red buckler. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Tell Thank us you. something. One minute about this. Uh, sir, this is the second award uh, by ESRS which I've got. Uh, for the first one was in 2019 and which was the image of the year. And this year uh, we have presented the series of six uh, intramitral cystic psychosis with different presentations. And now I have a series of nine which I'm going to make a new video of next year. And uh, as far as the International Hero Award is concerned, this is my third one. The first one was the inaugural session of the International Hero Award in 2016, last year and now this year. So we see, shall... you soon, uh, see you see you soon in the physical uh, conference. Uh, next I hope year. to see you soon, sir. Thank you.
Anybody joining you? So my wife and my parents are at home and they're joining from the separate link. So oh. I'm in the hospital right now. So. Perfect. Okay. Congratulations. Many yeah, congratulations. Thank you. thank you so much. Great. Good work. Vishal. Vishal thank again, you, so uh, you know, keeps coming on the A ASRS videos yeah. and best video awards has always been very, very dynamic right from rp center days no? it's all it's all thanks to my training at rp center and shankar netrales and vishal has started winning opls now too congratulations <laughs> well that's a domain of interior sickness surgeons but we are trying to you know creep in <laughs> <laughs> no no you should you should enter <laughs> yeah uh, congratulations we have come to the last uh, uh, person i think we have finished the awards but i would just take a minute uh, on behalf of all the awardees I would, they would like to uh, thank uh, the chairman, scientific committee, madam, uh, Dr. Lalit Verma for uh, bringing this up. And also on behalf of everybody, a big thank you uh, to Dr. Maipal sir for showing us, teaching us what a leadership can do. And uh, I remember uh, the words uh, my chairman used to say that uh, smooth sails never make a great captain you have to have a very, very bad weather to know how good a sailor you are or how good a captain you are. Sir, on behalf of all the awardees, I don't know, we can't, we, we don't have a thing to meet you in person, but your team, Madam, uh, of course, uh, was there, but it was the most turbulent times of our era and you showed how to be a good leader. I think uh, that is a big uh, uh, thank you from all our behalf, from the day one of our webinar where we had... Uh, the first Zoom webinar, Madam will remember, AIOS, we had 8,000 logins uh, to see how to, how to take care of ophthalmic practice. And I still remember that webinar. I don't think in the history of any webinar, we have had 8,000 logins. 8,800 was the number. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. I remember, I remember uh, time, uh, Sorry, sorry, sir. Sir, sir, yeah, yeah. sir, Dr. I remember, I remember uh, you see, that time when the uh, highest number of logins were there, and people were, uh, you know, amazed to see how AIUS, because no other society actually led. AIUS led from the front and uh, issued guidelines, published guidelines, and came to the rescue and in, approached industry also. And everything was done uh, because of uh, uh, our leader, that is my part. Namrata, ma'am, you want to say something? I just wanted to say tough times, but we had a very tough president. So... <laughs> <laughs> So even the COVID, you know, although it was so relentless, but it was overcome. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. And for everything. Well, and, thank uh, you for uh, the lovely people of All India Ophthalmological Society. And I think together we did and we will. Uh, and uh, Rohit, uh, on this particular thing, I think uh, Indian ophthalmology owes a lot to you for bringing research center stage. Actually, uh, hats off to you for... Uh, Malab, this was an unexplored, uncharted uh, territory uh, from uh, as regards Indian ophthalmology and getting it center stage, fantastic. I think uh, keep up the good work, Rohit. We are all very proud of you. God bless and thank you everyone, uh, all the members of All India Ophthalmological Society for staying together and staying afloat and best wishes and stay safe. Thank you. Dr. So, Partha is here. Yeah, thank you, Partha, for carrying this forward. And also thanks to Ashok of Microvision for uh, always, I think, uh, being in front for sponsoring this uh, lovely event, Intelligent Heroes. And I hope uh, Microvision will continue to carry this forward. Yeah. Thank Ashok, you, sir. You thanks. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, Ashok, and thank you. Thank you for doing it despite all odds. Ma'am, we just overshot by two minutes. So <laughs> that's yeah. it. Thank, thank you so much, doctors. Thank you. thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. Thank all you. you. By this, we come to the end of the session. Thank you. Stay safe.